If you are scared of snakes, then this is definitely not the video to watch. Again, second and last warning, and if you are scared of snakes, they make you cringe, they give you nightmares, then do not carry on watching this video. Switch it off right now. Okay, since you're still here, <laughs> this story is centered around how our guide actually survived the snake bite that kept him in a coma for four months. He also shares a story about how his colleague actually passed away because of a snake bite. So I hope you enjoy it, but this is where the story starts. What's happening? A snake? Oh, my goodness. Sure. Do this thing. Cool. Baby, what are you doing? No, what on earth? Are cool. I just wanted to see it <laughs> there. And it's in the tree. Let me zoom. Oh, good luck with that. Sure. Snake. <laughs> At least, well, it's green, so is it a green mom? Baby, good luck. So the story starts <laughs> with our first exposure to a snake, a green spotted snake, when we arrived and they were showing us the walkabout in terms of the whole place. Tanda Reserve. It's a special, 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 isolated, private game reserve. If you have time, do make time to come see it. <laughs> Babnyao also actually caught a snake. Snake? Snake? Peace. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Serious. Yeah. How big? Oh, it's not is so that big. The or what? Hmm? Is it this? The... It's a copper. We're gonna take it out to the bush. Don't worry. <laughs> a cobra, a black one. Well, from afar, it looks a bit silverish because it's so silky. He caught it, then we had the luxury of seeing him release it. <laughs> Scary experience. He told us not to get off the vehicle. Crazy. Then now, as we went on our morning game drive, this is where he shares the story. So I hope you enjoy and you learn something so that should you be bitten by a snake, know exactly what to do, act quickly and do it accordingly. Good luck. Cheers. Four days in coma. Then in a coma for four days. Yeah, sure. So were you then rushed from that scene? Mm -hmm. I know that I wasn't supposed to run or do whatever. Not supposed to run. Oh. No, if you beat him by the snake, you don't have to move. Oh. The more you move, the easier it to promote the poison to move. But myself, it comes on my mind that I won't die here. I've read and beat him. I just say that I read and tell him that beat him by the big mama. When I say I won't die here, I give the people the radio and the gun and I run. I was running down towards the Oh, oh, then you started running. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought that they would bring the car on me to take me to a hospital. But they bring the helicopter. And then when I saw the helicopter come like that and I call up. In about <laughs> 10 minutes, I wake up in the hospital after four days. <laughs> the mamba. <laughs> then the love for snake handling began. Well, what happened there? When, when when did you uh, encounter the mamba? In Kruger Park. And when was it? Uh, it was uh, about 12 years. 12 years ago. Sure. Okay. Sure. No, that's and then you collapsed in 10 minutes. 
And on the way, when I was running down there, I was vomiting and getting sweat like <coughs> someone pour water on me. Oh. On my mind, I just said that I won't die. Mm. And the doctor said that my heart was so strong to pump the blood. <laughs> but myself, I said that only God knows why yeah. I survived. <laughs> yeah. For this moment. Yes. You know what? <laughs> Does it often happen? No, it not often happen. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I saw someone killed by the Black Mamba. The dead black mama, someone was killed. Oh, okay. Yes. Huh. The dead snake killed the someone. The insect one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no, that's interesting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Black mama. Hmm? But still, killed yeah, the person. Dead. You know what happened? And then someone was killed by the black mama, the dead black mama. Mm. We were driving on Mabula, came that where I was before. And then we saw the brown snake eater was covering up like that. And it goes down like that. Goes mm -hmm. up again. Mm -hmm. It goes like that. And I was on a distance coming by the car with the people. And I said, people, look at that bird. The way he's doing, he's killing the mongoose or he's killing the snake. Uh -huh. And then we were driving closer there. When we close there, we find that he was killing Mamba, but he didn't grab the Mamba and kill it, just grab it and throw it there, and it flew up, and the snake was moving toward the hole. As soon as the snake put the head in a hole, that eagle come and grab it and throw it there, till the snake has a lot of holes ah. from the claw, ah. and then it dies. And then I took people back to the lodge, and I tell people that we saw that, and the everyone spread the news that we saw the Eagle killing the snake. Yeah. And it, I took other people out on a drive, on a second yeah. drive. Yeah. And then the other people, they say yeah. they want to see the black mamba. And then when we went there, we find the black mamba because it disturbed his food and he didn't eat it, he didn't yeah. take it. So, and then he came, the other man come out from the car, jump out and grab the snake by the hand and say, Oh, yes, it's a black mamba. And open the mouth and explain to people. And then one teeth, like I needed to poke him like that. Mm. And, then, oh, and I say, squeeze it. And I say, oh, now you're in trouble. Let me call the lodge. And I say, no, I'm okay. I've been working on a snake, for, snake park for four years. And I was still young at that time. I said, oh, I just come from school. I learned that the snake can die, but the poison can live about 24 hours. That snake has been dying here about three or four hours. And I say, no, I'm okay. This, I'm okay. Then I tried. I was watching him on a mirror when I was driving because he was sitting on my side. I saw him doing like that. In about five minutes, his hand was so green and like a rotten meat. Oh. Like, like so blue. And mm. I radio and they send the helicopter and they amputate his ham hand uh, uh, right mm. in front of us. Oh. And, mm. and they took him in the hospital and they say that he amputated him second time Hi. and then he dies. Oh. Yo. Because you stop, look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so even when it's dead, be careful. Right. Now that the poison alive till 24 hours. Sure. Then you can start to eat it if you eat this later. After 24 hours, you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> no poison anymore. <laughs> yeah, over yesterday. It was already in the kitchen, so. Yeah. So <laughs> you, can, you can quickly cook it. <laughs> I refuse! I refuse! <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah. you that it's a nice sausage. <laughs> no ways, I refuse! They're here to join us. Morning! Morning. Morning. Good, good. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, they take a good care. It's a copper guy, so your guide will tell you. What is Okay, it's about to come out now. How special is this cup? Yeah. 
Coming in our direction. Yeah, <laughs> so like Duncan, you can shoot accurately up to 10 meters. So like even by knowing their points, they know to see who can look into their eyes to divert them off their car because they don't step on them. Sure. So we've also up for it, or well, I've been caught up for it. One of my friends is also a fundy with snakes. And we were walking and put a baby one. And it's fat. And Ruby came onto my arm. And his arm. Just loves this direction. Eh? And, I mean, Jock, 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, and your arm goes really ready to do it. Sure. You know, imagine if it goes in your eyes. What that can do. Yes, bye bye. And if you've ever heard the most about putting milk into it, it's the worst thing you could ever do. <laughs> sure. <laughs> interesting, eh? Milk was quite in it. Quite interesting. Sure. I hope you learned something. It starts with you. See you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Love you.